What's up, bikes? I'm Allie, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. As many of you know, school is out for the next two weeks due to a modern pandemic. We caught up with graduate Augie Chappis to learn what this virus is all about. Hey Vikes, it's me, Augie. Now, for those of you that know me, you might be wondering, Augie, why are you on SVTV? You graduated last year. Well, the answer is quite simple. Just like the rest of you at Seaman, my college, K-State, is also on lockdown for a few weeks due to COVID-19, a.k.a. the coronavirus. And I was asked to do a quick story update on the coronavirus to kind of give you all some more information because there's a lot of disinformation going around on the internet. First off, you might be asking, isn't the coronavirus the same thing as the flu? And the answer is, not really. Yes, it is the same type of disease. It's in the coronavirus family of viruses. but it's not the same thing. The coronavirus is much more deadly at a rate, death rate of 2% as opposed to the flu's 0.1% death rate, which if you can do math, it's significantly higher. Which means that if the coronavirus is to spread among lots of people, especially older populations and people with pre-existing conditions, it could kill a lot of people. Hence why schools and businesses are shutting down right now. Another question that people are asking right now is, what can we do to prevent the spread of coronavirus? The answer is, things that you should be doing already. Washing your hands, avoiding touching your eyes, nose, mouth, the rest of your face. If you generally try to stay healthy, you're going to be okay. Also, just stay away from large crowds of people, and that will help prevent you from catching it. And if you have it, it will help you prevent it from spreading it which will help end the pandemic a lot quicker than if we were to just go about our daily lives. No. Some people are also asking, is the government going to force us to stay in our homes? And the answer is it's kind of unclear yet. It really depends on how wide this epidemic spreads. So if people are to self-quarantine themselves for a while and the ec epidemic doesn't spread as far and wide as we anticipate it might, then the government may not do anything. But if the virus keeps spreading like it has been, we might do something similar to Italy and the rest of Europe and force all businesses businesses except for grocery stores and banks to close. In the meantime, what can we do over coronacation? Well, the answer is anything but getting large crowds. So for starters, any of you procrastinators out there like me can actually start by getting your homework done that we were supposed to get done over break in the first place. But we can also spend some time with our family, talk to our friends online, play some video games. Anything that will prevent us from getting out in public. That's all from me, Vikes. This is Augie Chappas signing off for SVTV. Make sure and stay safe, Vikes. Now on to the rest of announcements. Congratulations to our Lady Vikes basketball team on their amazing season. They finished with a record of 20 and three, although their season was cut short. Our bowling teams also finished with third for the girls and six for the guys at state. Good job, Vikes. Now over to Josh with weather after this quick commercial break. sad that March Madness is over? Well, you're in luck. SVTV is putting on an NBA 2K tournament to bring back some of the madness to March. We are accepting both PS4 and Xbox One contestants. You can join if you have NBA 2K19 or NBA 2K20. To enter, email justincruz at usd345students.com and provide the console and game you will be playing on. The deadline to enter is 6 p.m. on Thursday, March 19th. Make sure to enter to win prizes and to be Seaman High School's best NBA 2K player. Are you up for the madness?
Happy Monday. If you woke up early this morning, you probably noticed some rain falling outside and that totaled 18 hundredths of an inch. The good news is that we're dry for the rest of today, but more chances for not only showers, but thunderstorms arrive later on this week. So first, let's take a look at the forecast for tomorrow. Morning temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. So it is going to be a cold start, but check this out. By the time we get into the afternoon, Highs will be in the low to mid 50s, so we'll call it cool, but seasonable for this time of year. Again, tomorrow, the daytime hours should be dry. It's not until we get into tomorrow night and early Wednesday morning. This is 1 a.m. You can see some showers, maybe a few thunderstorms in the eastern portions of the state. And along with that, some locally heavy rainfall is possible again this is tomorrow night into early wednesday morning probably mainly before sunrise on wednesday then round two arrives wednesday night into early thursday morning and as a result the storm prediction center has issued a marginal risk for severe weather that's indicated by this dark green shading which covers most of northeast kansas and what does a marginal risk mean well, in addition to some heavy rainfall, we could be talking about the risk for hail and strong winds for just about the first time this year. Again, this is coming up Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. That's round two of wet weather for the rest of this week. So taking a look at the SBTV seven day forecast, you can see that we will warm up quickly over the next few days. Highs in the seventies for both Wednesday and Thursday. You see a lot of storm chances, but keep in mind, most of those are during the nighttime hours. So most of the daytime will be dry. Get out and enjoy that warmer weather because by the end of the week, a cold blast of air returns. Highs will be in the 40s for Friday and into next weekend. And check out those morning lows back down into the 20s. So some big changes are ahead. That's your latest weather forecast. Allie, back to you. Thanks, Josh. SCTV is still going on, although school is out for the next two weeks. Make sure and tune into our YouTube channel at 3 every day to watch the news. Have a great rest of your coronation.